Welcome back to Booster Therapy Your Cure. For that pack cracking addiction, we're here with a. Whoa, another box. A battle bond as we continue to watch this set rise in price. We thought we'd bring another one of these bad boy battle bond booster boxes. Say that five times fast. Boop! There we go, ripped it open already. And open it, and open it until, you know, well, we can't afford to do it anymore because they've gotten too expensive. If you haven't heard, Print Run is officially over. This thing is not going to be printed anymore. I think I only saw one or two reprints beyond the very, very beginning. Um, so it's done being printed. And I do expect most of these cards to climb up because Commander is still such a popular format. And, well, these packs are you know, fantastic for Commander. So, before I rip it, let's talk for five seconds about, well, not five seconds, but hey, how you can support the channel. The first one, it's the easiest, and it's completely free, is just clicking that thumbs up button, sharing us with your friends, being a subscriber. The free ways are the best. Please help us do that. The other way is becoming a patron. We open packs like this, Battle Bond, for our patrons, and uh, there's a lot of fun ways for you to get involved in the video, so check that out, it's in the description. And the last one is to head out to noblenight.com, check out their, their inventory, see if there's anything that you'd like. They often have things for an incredibly fair price, including Battle Bond, so feel free to go pick up your booster box from them, again, noblenight.com. So with that out of the way, look at me, I'm shaking the pack. I'm shaking it. Yep, that's how I open things. Whoop. We'll get into the first one and see what we got. Another thing, so print run, Japanese print run, la la la, I've said it before, blah blah blah. Similar to Ultimate Masters, but we get a token, we get a mountain or land, and then we get our first rare foil. Looks like we're starting off with a foil of lead, by example. It's, it's a pretty cool looking card, actually. And our first rare is the evil twin. Look at that guy, he's menacing. Thinking about a commander deck that is gonna be featured for one of my favorite movies, Army of Darkness. And uh, really on flavor with that, so you might see that evil twin again sometime. Okay, I'll keep getting to the packs. That's right. Brett, stop talking. We don't want to hear your voice. We just want to see the cards. I respect that. Let me get to them. Planes. And hey, we got our first partner pair. We got Corvath, Bright Flame, and Sylvia, Bright Spear. Some Night Tribal. That's another fun thing about Battle Bond is, you know, it's just, it always feels so good when you're with a set that has, you know, a potential of having two rares in one pack. You know, it'd be, that's a little bright up there. Let's lower these down a little bit. There we go. Put them into better focus. You know, what would be fun though, is if we find a way to open four in one pack. That's right. Two partner pairs. Oh, is that a, that's a, that's a rare. Okay. I thought it was foil for a second. All right. Got a Mythic, our first Mythic, Arcane Artisan. It's a really good card. And we're gonna keep doing, we're gonna keep doing that quick scan of the Uncommons. Again, with this set, we have some pretty good Uncommons. You know, we've got Spell Pierce, Beast Within, um, you know, a few, handful of cards like that that are just really useful, easy to play, things like that. Swamp, and Magus of the Candelabra. It's a cool looking guy. I remember when this set first came out, somebody was a little heartbroken because I think they were trying to uh, speculate on the Magus and they had bought a ton of them thinking that this card might go reserve list or something like that, I think. And then it got reprinted. Wah wah. Oh well. Warrior. Island. And Vertus's Maneuver. Vertus is also one of my favorite cards. And there's one of the good uncommons. We've got Chain Lightning. So put those off to the side. Just a real big fan of, I mean, opening Ultimate Master is always fun, but opening anything by this Japanese print run, they, they feel so different. Um, hopefully you've gotten to experience that. I honestly think this is the kind of quality we've been looking for. Game plan, another one of those Seb McKinnon artworks that looks real cool. Let's see, what are we hoping for? Well, as always, a foil true name nemesis would be pretty exciting. And then we got play of the game. 
feel like this is a little bit of a nod to Overwatch. Even when you look at the, the, the explosion, I mean, how is that not some sort of thank you diva artwork? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just too much of an Overwatch fan. I don't know. Warrior. Swamp. Hey, and look, it's your chance to hit the thumbs up button. Wow. Corvath's Fury. Actually, really good card. Nice little wheel of possibility. With options. I love cards with options. That's called value. Also, I'm just kind of a fan of wheel effects for Commander. It makes for a lot of fun. Mirror. Island. And Guatha. Hazid Profiteer. Oop, and Spell Snare. We'll take that and put it off to the side. Another one of my favorite commander decks actually comes from the partner pair in this set, and that's Zinder Split and uh, Okun. Oh, we got a Foil Fire Elemental. It's a cool looking card. And Victory Chimes for our rare. Not sure if you guys have gotten to play that partner pairing. It's it's uh, it's it's all about the chaos and the the coin flipping. That's right, a coin flip commander deck. Sorry, I'm cleaning up a pile over here. Clean it up. There we go. Mind's Eye, always a useful card. Just a cheap way to make any kind of color. Get a little extra draw. All right, Beast Within, another good uncommon. Getting a lot of those good uncommons early on. That's always nice. Another zombie giant, island, and another foil. We got the sky streamer. And, oops, I went right past it. Morphic pool, all right. The best of the battle bond land cycle. Is there is there a name for that? Is it the battle cycle? We got battle lands, I guess, already. I don't know, I wonder what this one's called. Maybe I don't know, but they're really, really good. These ones, the price already creeping up. By now, you guys, they are gonna get pretty high. I, I mean, unless we see Reprint, which I'm sure down a long road, maybe we will. Um, it's just they are really good for Commander. I mean, literally no downfall for Commander. So if you're a fan of playing that format, get those lands now while they're still kind of cheap. Planes. And another Mythic, we got Stunning Reversal. Stunning Reversal with his purpley purple hair. Okay. That's two Mythics. All right. Let's see if we can... Uh, See if we can get an eight mythic box. Why not? Eight mythics, home box. You know, we can, you know, we got a partner pairing that's mythic. Why not getting that? I mean, that will help. Surely help. Forest. Hey, one of my favorite mythics in the set, though. Brightling. We're on the mythic train right now. Ooh, and another spell snare. All right. That was a nice little pack. Brightling. That thing skyrocketed when the set first came out. I feel like something happened in Legacy, in the Legacy format, where that was just being played and it was working out real well. Mountain, and another one of the lands, Luxury Suite. This one's my favorite artwork too. Just looks real cool. It's where I'd wanna be if I was watching people battle it out in an arena. That's the story, if you didn't know. That's the Battle Bond story. An arena someplace, somewhere, that has a name, and people go in Gladiator. And Piers Wim, my favorite card from this set. Not the most expensive, but there was a point where these were 30 to 40 cents. I think they're already a buck or more, and I think they will keep on climbing. So it's another one. I'm not, you know, an expert in any way when it comes to investments or anything like that, nor am I getting, giving advice for that, but I really think that one will become hard to purchase and justify soon enough. Tide Spout Tyrant, another good one. If you've got to watch that Jota deck tech, you'll see how I use that card in there. Nice little inexpensive card to cheat out early with Joda. You had a lot of Christmas miracles. You should go check that out. Warrior. Forest. And Archon of Valor's Reach. This is a nasty card. Stopping everybody from playing one thing or another. Comboing the Archon. Not comboing, but yeah, comboing. Let's say the Archon with a Void Winnower. You know, cutting one type of card out of the way, plus 
Not letting play things that are even mana cost. That's always fun. Ooh, foil planes. And Nirkana Revenant. We've got another mythic. It's number four, right? Number four, yeah. All right, we're on our way to eight. Halfway there. Let's do this. Eight mythics, one box. Land tax doubling season. Let's go. Emblem, planes, and ooh, my another good partner pair. Not my favorite, but a real good one. Toothy, the imaginary friend, and Peer, the imaginative rascal. Actually, pretty effective in a lot of those counter decks. When I say counter, like one one counters, anything that needs to place a counter in some velocity really help to drive the effectiveness of all that. Zombie. Island, and, 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 oop, Sower of Temptation. Nice little reprint. If you guys aren't a patron already, we've got a fun thing that we're going to start doing soon for everybody who's a $6 plus patron of the channel. We're going to have an exclusive sell list just for you. So stay tuned. It's going to have cards that are under the market price because we want to be able to give back a little bit with some of the things that we've opened and give you a good deal on it. Goblin Rays Runners. Might even do something where we just package a few cards together, make it real cheap, and uh, ship it out to you for free. Beast, Swamp, and Sentinel Tower. Come on, doubling season. Love a foil doubling season. That would be too fun. Honestly, the foil partner commanders would be fun too. Warrior, Swamp, and Regna's Sanction. These friend or foe mechanics are just so much fun to play. How many of you guys did get a chance to do like the true two-headed giant draft with this you know you know exactly how it was built to be played with the six packs and everything that ended up being really fun at least for me oh we got our foil rare it's the goblin rays runners it's a cool looking one but not a ton of value and then we got our core spirit dancer here's a good card for any aura deck so if you turn turned your estrid into the aura version and swapped out that commander, Spirit Dancer. He's a nice little addition to that. Spirit, Mountain, and a Step Glider Foil. And Mangara of Corindor. Cool card. That's a mean card. Mountain. And a thrilling encore. Another one, honestly, that I feel is really gonna climb up in price. So get them now, they're still pretty, pretty cheap. A lot of these cards I think are still pretty affordable, at least for a little bit. But again, print runs done. As we get through the probably second, third quarter of this year, you're gonna start seeing these things climb up because they're, they're not gonna get stopped getting played, that's for sure. Fill with fright. Look at that guy. He looks, he really does look terrified. And the generous patron. That could be you. You could be one of these guys. Okay. Hey, chain lightning. Looks like we're on the last third of the box. Getting down to it. Seeking out that doubling season. Okay. Foil enthralling victor. That's, that's, some, that's some abs, man. And hey, we got another mythic, the Bramble Sovereign. Probably the most fun mythic. It's always fun to make gigantic tokens everywhere. So that puts us, what are we at? We are five now? We got room for one more, right? You can always use a few more mythics. That's what these boxes want to give us. We're just trying to fulfill their need to do so. Plains and Sea of Clouds, nice. We are getting some of those good dual lands in this one. A 
Doubling season. Play, yeah. Bonus round. Another good card. This one's already starting to kind of climb up even, even higher than I thought it would initially hit. Let's organize that pile a little bit. Starting to slide every which way. Warrior. Island. And Zinder Splits Judgment. Another good friend or foe mechanic. Oop, swords to plowshares. Another good uncommon. It's always nice to hit a lot of the dollar or two dollar uncommons. Just helps to get a bit of that value from the box. And I think these boxes right now are maybe up to like 110 or 115. Maybe I'm wrong. Swamp. And a foil morphic pool. Woo! That is a real good one. I did not expect to get another foil rare, but I will take it. <laughs> foil morphic pool. Wow, and stolen strategy, a real good card. It's rare that red gets any sort of, you know, draw mechanic, and that thing really helps to fulfill a bit of that need. Three packs left. Wow, that foil morphic pool feels really good. Off the top of my head, I do not know the value, but I think they're really high. I think any of those foiled out are actually worth quite a bit. Warrior, Swamp, and hey, favorite partner pair. There they are, there they are. Flip those coins. Okun and Zinder Split. And nothing in the uncommon spot. Okay. Man, could we get one more mythic though? I feel, I feel like these packs have it in them. I feel like we're going to get one more. Spirit, Island, and Wars Toll. Cool looking artwork though. Hey, another beast within. Again, really getting a lot of the uncommons. Last pack of the Battle Bond Booster Box. Beast. Mountain and New Scrap Mod. Again, amazing artwork. Really creepy. Not a super valuable card, though. But hey, I'm still a cheering fanatic for all you all. Thank you so much for checking this out. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Thank you for tuning in and joining us. This is Booster Therapy. You have a good rest of your week.